Thank you. All right. So we worked on story brand for the last four or five weeks. I can't remember how many. So you guys agreed that you would write out your story brand. And I saw Patty did a great job and oh, good job. Good job, Missy. And uh, Patty put hers up in Voxer today. She did a great job with that. So, well, good. So Missy, since you have yours first, share with us what you came up with. Okie dokie. So what do they want? They want an easy way to improve their diet and eating. Um, the external, no one eats enough fruits and vegetables. Internal, feeling guilty, frustrated, confused about what to do and what, what you do and don't eat every day. Sorry, feeling guilty, frustrated, confused about what you do and don't eat every day. And philosophical, you shouldn't have to feel bad for not eating a perfect diet. No one, no one should, it's just plain wrong. And the villain is malnutrition. We eat plenty, but we are malnourished because we don't eat enough fruits and vegetables every day. Empathy, uh, am I supposed to go through all of these? Yeah, so the negative consequence of empathy, yep. Yeah, so I understand how you feel, it shouldn't be this hard. And what I found is we can flood your body with over 30 fruits and vegetables and know exactly what it will do in your, in your body through over 40 gold standard research studies. Okay, is that it? No, well, I don't know. Do you want to summarize the plan, the call to action and the stake? Yeah. Okay. So the summary of the plan is number one, there's no risk, it's just food. Number two, there's a 30 day return guarantee. Number three, it's gold standard research. And number four, you have great customer service, me. <laughs> and um, a call to action. And you guys did a good job of it last week, but let's get started. Which card do you want? And let's put, get your order put in. And tr the transitional piece, do you want to keep dating? Um, let's schedule a meeting, watch the video. You can decide if you're ready or not to get started. And then the stake in all of this is, you don't, I, <clears throat> you don't wanna wake up a year from now and say, damn, I'm too late. Good. Okay, so if we put them in the order of external, internal, philosophical, philosophical, sorry, villain, what are the negative cons? These are this is a seven step plan. Like if you're you're talking to somebody, what are the negative consequences for not taking action? What would the positives be if they did? And then asking them to take action. So you guys can kind of see that behind me. Can you read it? No. You can't read it. Is that better? Can you read it now? Well, you know what? I let me get you off. Okay. Is there a glare or is it just that it's too small? Both. It's too small, Reagan. You just can't see it. Too okay. small. Okay. Well, I can just yeah. read it too. Okay. So, anyway, so have you used it, Missy? No. I have no? not. Okay. No, well, let's no. try it. So, uh, tell me about, well, tell me about this last person that you talked to about Juice Plus. Um, I have to think. <laughs> um, who did I just talk to? Or somebody you want to talk to? Because I, I haven't used it. So I have somebody um, that I'm supposed to have an appointment with, um, a, a referral. So I wanted to get this done so that when I talk to him. And do you know what his problem is? He has MS. Okay. And he's, right. and so he's, he's I'm, very, I'm the person, I have MS. Um, somebody told me I should talk to you about this juice stuff. What are you going to say to me? So, uh, I don't know. <laughs> so you um, should have this written out like in the seven, seven parts, right? Well, I do, but that okay. doesn't mean I know how, where to start. Well, this is the problem. <laughs> right. That's why it's not perfect in my world here. Okay, well, let's try it. So what would you say? What's the external? 
what would you say you just said you can i want you to amend it a little bit for the person you're going to talk to for ms world practice okay so <laughs> i i um i understand how it must no i don't understand anything about ms um uh wow no one should have to go through that i'm really sorry um and no one gets enough fruits and vegetables i'm right back to where i always am so, okay so so the one thing the reason i'm i'm kind of putting you through this missy thank you for letting me do this too um yeah. is that this is not a script okay this is just a flow of kind of how a conversation goes so if you know the person's problem they have ms like god you know such a bummer for ms you know you know i can help you with probably you know getting your diet really tip top shape so that your you know body can fight that um and you can lead it right into and then they go yeah that, that'd probably be a good idea well yeah so now i you know their problem right like you don't just pop into this the minute you open the call with them, right? Right. And you can say, you can go right into the, gosh, you know what? Actually, nobody, whether they have MS or not, eats enough fruits and vegetables. And, you know, we want to make sure that, you know, you, you should be able to feel as good as you possibly can, even having MS. Okay. Okay. And what was next for you? What was philosophical for you? Um, you shouldn't have to feel bad for having MS and not being able to have a perfect diet. Um, we've got a great way for you to add 30 fruits and vegetables to your diet mm -hmm. every day. But the villain is. I can't remember. Uh, because we are all basically malnourished. We eat plenty of food, but it's not, we don't eat enough fruits and vegetables. So we're mal, we have malnutrition as a, a Western diet. What are the negative consequences for this gentleman if he does not put Juice Plus into his diet? So I would hate for you to wake up a year from now and say, boy, I really wish I'd done this and now it's too late. I don't know. Be careful, like be careful with that a little bit. Yeah, I, um, I don't you know like I, it's too late. Yeah, be careful with that. I would say um, maybe something like, you know, waiting a year to get your immune system working even better would be a tragedy. You know, I remember the salt, it's just a piece of salt, right? But when you eat Juice Plus, you'll get to experience a better working immune system. You see where I'm going with that? Yeah. You know, your DNA damage is less, whatever you want to say about that, right? And I think it will really help with your, um, you know, your MS. And then, so there's the negatives and the positives. And then what are you going to do so for taking action with him? So, you know, there's, there's no risk. It's food. Um, so... Let's just get you started. Let's, get, let's, get, let's just get you started. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, M Patty. Um, yeah, I was so in the beginning there, I, I, I think the one thing that caught me was that as we were starting, it was kind of like we assumed that he didn't have a very good diet. And maybe that would be a good place for a question. Perhaps. Well, so, so that was what I was saying is that you're not just hopping into this without having that discussion around the problem first. Right. So right. you probably need to ask some questions and you know, say how, you know, right. how do you think you're eating right now? Or, you know, what, what kind of food are you eating? Or, you know, just give me an idea of what your basic diet is like every day. Yeah. Sort of thing. You know, that way that kind of eases into that and gets them talking. Right? Yeah. And I don't know, that's, that's kind of what I was feeling when I kind of, we were starting there. Good job. I think Great job, Missy. Questions. Does that help a little bit? Yeah, Missy, you did a fabulous job. I wasn't criticizing no, you. No, 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 I'm not taking it as criticism. I, I was just trying to think all good. in terms of if I've been, I'm, I've been working on this flipping thing like everyone, but I've been working 
five days in a row going, how come this is so difficult? So, so do you remember like when we said, do you know how, like you could start back out with, do you know how, you know, you could go, gosh, do you know how, what the problem is? It's just so hard for us to get enough fruits and vegetables in. I mean, if that, if, you, if you've got something that triggers you right into that, the rest of it kind of flows through, right? And it's the whole, gosh, you know how everybody has a hard time eating enough fruits and vegetables, right? Um, and you should be able to look and feel as good as you want, right? Or whatever. Um, the problem is it's really hard to do. Wouldn't you agree? I mean, so what I don't want you guys to do is have a script. You just kind of need to have a flow of what's your opener and kind of what these are instead of going, okay, what was, what did that mean? Like external, what was that? Like, I, I don't, I want you to lose that and eventually just take that off your page and write out kind of where you would go with somebody with juice plus. Okay. Cause otherwise you're going to end up with a script. And I, you don't want to have a script. Part of what's different for this is again, letting go of us as the storyteller and the hero and letting them be the hero and we are the guide. And I don't think that, I think sometimes I've been a good guide, but I think it that's the part. It's not that I need a script, it's that I gotta remember that I want certain things. Yeah, you know, so if you just, this is kind of like your guide to being a guide. Yeah. Right? right. Just to kind of keep it about them versus ourselves. So who else wants to share? Hey, Reagan. Yeah. Um, I just, can you hear me very well? Yeah. I'm using my earbuds. Okay. So um, what I wanted to add in, because I've, I've been MIA, I'm like the other Jill. Um, thankfully, so, like spring sports and school is over and I can have a life again. So um, whenever I'm meeting to chat with somebody that I know has a specific disease or ailment, um, I, if I know that now, you're not always going to have that opportunity, but I'm kind of a nerd. So the first thing I do is like, is MS inflammatory? Is it an inflammatory disease? Cause most of the ailments we deal with are inflammation based, right? And we already have an arsenal full of things, um, that will prove that juice plus helps reduce inflammation. So we're not talking about the MS because you know, we know Juice Plus is not going to probably cure their MS. That that would be a crazy thing to even, you know, to imply. Um, but we can speak to what we know, which is Juice Plus helps reduce inflammation in the body. And so I think we can use that. Do you know how MS is an inflammatory um, disease? Uh, it's a chronic infl inflammation situation. And so um, those can only be helped by better diets, by getting more uh, raw produce in. And so I think you can weave that in without, you know, because I think we do have to be careful. Maybe that's, we're all a little bit nervous too when it has to do with disease specific. But um, in this instance, I, I don't know if that's helpful uh, to anyone, but that is where I have found that there's like a safe space for me to speak to the disease without so, so I would could re, would reframe that and I would put that down into your positives of of your flow you know so you could say gosh you know what I mean the, the reason why somebody's talking to you or got referred to Missy right is because somebody thought they would benefit from getting more fruits and vegetables to help them feel better right right so you're going to say, what's going on? How long have you had that? You're going to have all of that and say, gosh, you know what? Well, what I do is I help people really flood their body with a lot of fruits and vegetables so it can make its own medicine. And, you know, the problem is nobody gets enough of them, right? So I just think for, for us to keep this so simple that it goes back to what do we do, right? When we go back to that first call we did, what do we do? We share fruits and vegetables. We share a tool for fruits and vegetables. So it's really easy to get caught up in going down all these rabbit trails with people. But really what we're trying to do is to be able to share with them a simple tool to get more fruits and vegetables so that their body can have whatever it is, whether it's inflammation or, you know, protection from MS or, 
you know, help their immune system from that, whatever, whatever the, their problem is. Right. So that would go in there where you go, you know, gosh, it's so hard to do. Like they know that anybody that's sick knows they need to eat more fruits and vegetables. Am I right? They all know that. Like, this is not, this is not news, right? But you get down to the positives and you can say, gosh, and we've got all of this research on, we've got an whole arsenal for um, showing that this in the body actually reduces inflammation. And for the negative consequences, it's like, gosh, you know, if you're not getting enough fruits and vegetables, um, you know, you're not really protecting your body enough to really help in the battle or in the fight of whatever their thing is, right? I mean, that could be some of your negative consequences and then the positives are, but when you put juice plus in, you can have peace of mind because we've got the research that shows that the immune system and whatever, right? So it's just kind of knowing the flow of kind of where that goes. But I think you got to keep it so stinking simple to go back to, this is the tool to get more fruits and vegetables in your body, right? Because otherwise you're gonna be all over the board and you're gonna be trying to think of some story for this thing and that thing. And that was the whole point was, look, we have a way for you to get more fruits and vegetables in and it will help with whatever. Does that help? Okay. And I, so, and I do think too, like, you know, when we're, cause that was the one piece I felt like was missing a little bit. And I know like, Missy, she put you on the spot. I was like trying to do this on the fly, but I mean, understanding like, at first, it, it, we, we have to be careful because, I mean, we want to, yeah, we're not getting enough fruits and vegetables, but sometimes maybe somebody doesn't realize they need more or they know they need more, but you need to ask, well, like Reagan said, like asking questions. We all need to make sure we're asking questions ahead of time to kind of find that pain. And then for him to understand not only, yeah, you need fruits and vegetables, but why? Like, why is that going to impact you and your situation, right? So for him, it's inflammation. You know, for someone else, it might be something else. Um, but I think for sure, not just that you just need them, but like you need them because, you know, with your inflammatory situation, this or whatever is applicable, uh, making sure we're pulling it back to that understanding why not only do they just need to eat more, that why, like, why does that matter? What do they do for me? Right. You know. So today I had a, a call with a potential, um, hopefully she'll join our team, but, uh, but for sure she's looking at Juice Plus and she's young and and healthy. And she said that, um, her friend said, I don't even know why you, why you would take the time. Like you don't really need it. You're young and healthy. And so it was like, okay. I said, well, would you like to stay young and healthy? You know, um, I said, are you, do you even know what the recommendation is? And so we kind of got into that, but I was kind of able to weave some of this through the conversation. It wasn't like bum, 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 bum. Right. So, you know, and finally she realized like, well, yeah, actually I'm really intrigued by that. And she wanted to look at the research, which is great. Um, so it's just a matter of kind of knowing. And I said, what do you think is going to happen if you don't eat enough fruits? You're young now, but what do you think is going to happen if you don't eat enough fruits and vegetables over time? Are you going to go down the same path as some of the other people that you just mentioned? And she's like, well, I didn't think about it that way. So you see what I'm saying? So it's just a matter of kind of having those little touch points that you can have. Sue, so will you share yours? You, since you held yours, you weren't done with yours. So I had, I had a lot of fun with this too, because I always tie back into our original schooling that we did versus Patty when she did, we, did, we all did that together. So my external was, are you aware that not even one in 50 people eat enough raw fruits and vegetables every day and internal? Okay, so don't laugh at me when I say this. You should be able to look and feel as great as you possibly can and avoid feeling like crap. Don't you agree? <laughs> You can leave that out or not, but I threw that in there. Yeah. So philosophically, you shouldn't have to worry about how you're going to eat enough produce to have great health. And your villain, of course, is you know a busy lifestyle and chemicals into our food really make it difficult. And I always, I put in here waiting a year to strengthen your immune system shouldn't have to be a burden on you. We have research that can give you peace of mind. I'm happy to share that with you. And really, it shouldn't be this hard. Juice Plus makes it easy and affordable to flood your body with plant-based concentrated nutrition each and every day. Are you ready to get started? Or yes. I can use Reagan's. 
you can take it or leave it, but I think you're going to love it. Are you ready to get started? Yep. Good. That's what I do. Good job. Great job. Thank you. Okay. Who else wants to share? Karen, I know you wrote yours out. I was sitting here going, oh, she's not going to call me. Yay. Yeah, I am <laughs> calling on everybody. So, all right, let me get it because I actually have it right here on my desktop. Um, okay. So I didn't tweak it after last week, last week's meeting very much, but um, I started out by, hey, how is Amber feeling? Is the nausea any better? She's just a background. She's pregnant with twins severe nausea. So I took them samples of shakes, gummies, and the quad. And um, then I said, um, can you talk briefly this evening? Uh, I can help you place your order. Because um, they said they were going to order the shakes. Um, well, let me skip that part. Um, I want to make sure that I'm sharing this nutrition with you and your family so you, that you have the healthiest babies possible not easy to carry twins. I also highly recommend the trio for Amber. The testimonials from during pregnancy and after are amazing. With over 40 published clinical studies providing the benefits, your family can't go wrong. The best pharmacy in the world is you and the nutrients you eat that are in fruits and vegetables and berries. It's all about synergy. There's nothing man-made um, that can compare. Let me know what time works for you. Um, I'm available and I gave them a couple of times um, that would work. And they're both nurses. Part, um, I sent that in an email. Okay. Um, they're both nurses. And so that's, so I didn't break it down into the seven steps, um, but I did try to break it down and um, I don't know, I'm ready for your critique. <laughs> what do you guys think? Let's give her some feedback. I liked it. The only thing, Karen, I could say is that it's it's very wordy. It, yes. It, it would be it would be it would be like you might lose somebody's attention along the way because it's there's a lot of information that you're sharing. Yeah. That's all. That's all I could say. And I mean, Thank in you. a very Before kind and loving studies. way. Yeah. yeah. And I took a lot. I I took a lot out from my original draft. But I do appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah. And I, I do think that if uh, you can do it live instead of on written out is better. Although like Sherry had success with that. So, I mean, if that's how you have to do it, that's fine. But live is better. But great job. Try to try to break one down that you can just use as a general. I have somebody that I spoke with at church on Sunday who's going to be having a shoulder surgery. And Ray said, oh, yeah, I had mine, blah, blah, blah. And then um, Ray said something about, um, they were talking about exercises. And he said, I know that my Juice Plus um, helped me decrease my inflammation. And then I mentioned that he, he's doubled up a, a month before and then doubled up for several months after. And so it was beneficial for him to say, you know, yeah, I know it helped me heal and decrease my information. So she wants an email and, um, or she'll see me at church next Sunday. Um, and so I'm going to, that's my goal is to work on that this week. Yeah. So the problem is healing from surgery, right? You know, it's no fun that you had surgery and we want you to be able to heal as quickly as possible. And, um, you know, that shouldn't be hard. You know, that should, we should try, try to make that as easy of a, a process as we can. It's important to get, you know, the right nutrition in to do that, you know, but as you and I know, it's really hard to do just because nobody likes to cut them up or whatever. Right. Um, you know, and if you, if you don't try this, you may just have a longer recovery, which would be no fun at all. And if you do add it, well, we've got all of this 40, you can pull that in there. There's 40 published studies that actually show better healing through less inflammation, blah, 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 right? Um, so why don't I just get you the information and um, let's get you started. I like that. Okay. And I did use kind I of a modified- Winged it. 
I, I used a modified version of that with someone that I had lunch with last week who's going to be having gastric bypass. And I was like, you know, let's get you started. You know, after I talked about it, it was like, let's get you started so your body gets used to it before you have the bypass. Because after that, she's not going to be able to eat raw fruits and vegetables probably ever again. Yeah, that's true. So she's interested. That's That was exciting because I think that population of people, this could benefit so much. Yeah, well, you should look up doc, Dr. Joel Tolzer. He won't even operate on you unless you take juice plus three months before and forever. Oh, Jill Tolzer? Gerald Tolzer. Gerald. Oh, Gerald. Karen, I, uh, oh, Gerald. Karen, I um, went in the first like five years of building my business, I worked with a psychologist who was, um, she did counseling with people pre gastric bypass. So part of her protocol was putting them on juice plus. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, we can we can chat about that. You could do a three week. I would call. love to. Yes, because she's going to be a hard sell. So yeah. And I have a, a customer who absolutely raves about Juice Plus. She she has malabsorption now because of her bypass, and so she ran across us online. She's an old friend, but she she saw it and said, "I think I need this." And now she's, I mean, she's just a rocket of how wonderful Juice Plus is. So <laughs> if, if you need that, holler. Yes, thank you guys so much. I'm glad I mentioned that. Is she, do most of these bypass patients take, are they take, actually taking the capsule? Are they dumping the powders out and drinking it? Are they taking the chewables? I mean, I know they're small, so I'm just curious as to how they're taking it. So I have, I have a lady who did that and she opened up the capsules really slowly at first and then would just put it in her shake. So we had her on shake and uh, capsules, but yeah, they were, she was actually able to eat the cap, the whole capsule, no problem. But at first they have to go really slow. And that's the same thing. Mine dumped it all into a little glass of water. She would open them up and that was, she had, she sent me pictures and she would drink that. And in the last year she said, I finally went, this is stupid. So she just started taking the capsules and she's fine with it. Um, Al, I just got, got your question. Um, so the paperwork is in guides on our Facebook group. And then all of the recordings that we've done are also in our Facebook group. So you can find all of those in the on the wall there. Uh, Patsy, do you want to, or Emily, one of you guys, do you guys want to share yours? I'm at Patsy. All right. Let's see if I got it here. Um, I think I left something out. I didn't say anything really negative. Um, that's not normally how I talk. And so um, so I had said most of the time I'm talking to moms with kids. So like you, I don't know anyone that eats the recommended seven to 13 servings of fruits and veggies every day. We all want our families to look great and feel their very best. It's just not right. You shouldn't have to worry about how you will find and pay for clean, nutritious food for our families. Our busy lifestyles and food labeling can make it so difficult for all of us to figure out what is the right thing to do. You deserve to know that there is really a simple and affordable way to resolve this. And it's free for the kids. Yes, it's Juice Plus, because most of them say, it's that stuff, that juice Okay, it's just plus, and your family can flood their bodies each and every day with the nutrition of concentrated plant food. So I really didn't say anything negative. Don't you guys think she needs the negative in there? I feel like it, it would just put the punch in. And you know, I was thinking, I love what you did was perfect. Other than if you just added something even like, you know, doctors say like not getting enough fruits and vegetables in your body is just as bad as standing in, in front of an x-ray machine unprotected. Mm-hmm. You okay. could just add something, something like, like that, that in there. Okay. And you, you want to stunt your child's growth. No, you can't say that. Yeah. <laughs> that was fantastic, Patsy. Okay, good. Thank you. Yeah. Well done, Patsy. Anybody else want to share? I know we're getting at the end of our half hour here. Does anybody else want to do theirs real quick? Come on, if you did it, let's hear it. Emily, did you do it? I've I've done it, but okay. not as well as y'all have. <laughs> That's okay. That's why we're here. It's not about judging you. It's about helping you. 
Okay. Let's hear it. Um, all right. So I have external, it's so hard to eat enough fruits and veggies every single day, especially the seven to 13 recommended servings. Internal feeling and looking our best is something we all want to keep up with as long as we can. Philosophical struggling with the quality of fruits and veggies going down isn't something you should have to worry about. Villain, uh, being constantly surrounded by media promoting food items that are not good for you, yet you eat anyway, isn't supporting the healthy lifestyle you're wanting kind of thing. And then solution would be, that's what I haven't finished. That would okay, be so you've got the other two steps from last week just to put under there. That was perfect. Okay. And now I'll just make sure you do the negative consequences and then the positives. So the negative is like a little pinch of salt and then the positives is a whole cup of flour, right? Yes. And then, and then the call to action, you know, if you're not eating enough fruits and vegetables, let's, you know, let's take a look at getting this in your body or whatever you want to say. Great job. Thanks. Yeah. Ellen, did you do yours? Uh, yeah, I've been working on it a little bit this afternoon, but I think it's still rough. So I- It's okay. Okay, so I'm kind of weird. When I looked at this, like it was easier for me to almost work backwards on this. Did anybody else? Okay, that's just my... <laughs> um, so, you know, again, I think just asking those good questions, you know, if you started about well, what do they want? Because people have complaints, they talk about them. It's always been that way, whether it's their health or their finances. And that's going to increase a lot in the days to come because of um, what we're experiencing in the economy. So it's like, well, what, you know, what do you want? And um, kind of getting to, I think I'm good at getting to people's external, internal, what I get people talking and telling things. Um, what I loved about this is the empathy and the authority piece. So I have been using like, you shouldn't have to struggle with that. But, um, and then if I could show you a way that maybe you don't have to struggle with being so tired or that you can create some income that helps buffer, you know, the expenses that you're facing and then giving them a plan. And I think that is so important because I think so often we trail off because we were afraid of being direct with people. So to me, the plan is pretty simple. You're either going to take capsules every day and make yourself a shake every day, or you're going to um, take capsules every day, make a shake every day, and build a business. <laughs> so um, it's pretty simple. And it's not, you know, to me, it's like, okay, the call to action is you need to go on my website. Now I can be walking alongside you doing that. You need to go on my website and sign up for where you're starting, whether it's this product or it's it's the business as well. And then, you know, it, I think that transitional thing, I would be inclined to ask that question of, well, do you wanna let, if you don't start this now, do you wanna let me know in six months how that's going for you? <laughs> but I don't know, I feel like that kind of shames people. <laughs> yeah, you wanna be careful not to shame people for sure there, you know? It oh. needs to still be an empathetic piece of salt, right? I mean, <laughs> Yeah. So, you know, I've always asked that question. If you were eating the nutrition from 30 different fruits and vegetables every day, how do you think your body would feel for you in a year? How do you think that performance would That's be? That's good. And I, I think that question right there is great. And, it, you know, versus not making any changes, it's probably not going to get any better um, or any easier. And I kind of I kind of think about it like, you know, somebody said earlier in the call, I like analogies, but I kind of thought about it like, well, you're young and healthy, right? So I could look at, I could look at Emily Dickinson and go, well, she's, she's so young and healthy and what does she need all this for, right? Like, um, man, I'd love to be her age, but, but the thing is, I'm wise enough to know Emily is eventually going to be my age. Right. And then she's eventually going to be twice my age. And on that journey, she's going to face all these unexpected things. So why wouldn't she start 
um, you know, building up her health now, and it's never too late to start, but didn't every single person on this call, when you started Juice Plus go, oh man, I wish I would have known about that sooner. Yeah. Right. So, you know, just that, that transformation and from the business standpoint, you know, somebody might say, well, so what make $200 a month? Yeah. Well, so what, if you start that now and you did that every month for the next 12 months, do the math, that's $2,400 that you wouldn't have made. Don't you think you're probably going to need that $2,400 or if it was $500 a month and that's $6,000 a year, the longer you wait to start, the more you put off making that just like the longer you wait to save for retirement, the longer you put off your retirement. Yeah. So did you write yours out? Well, a little bit. I sketched it out here and, but then I just get talking. So, <laughs> okay. So I'm going to put a challenge out to you, Miss Ellen, to write it out and throw it up on our Voxer or Facebook group. Well, I will. Okay. Cause then, cause that will help you not to keep talking, you know, I mean, right. Because otherwise we can do that. We can, and I do that. I, I go, blah, blah, blah. I go and so if I don't kind of have a, I think this kind of gives you a nice little path, right? Just to kind of get to the point. Um, Al or Kristen or Jennifer, did, did I didn't get you guys. Did you guys write well, it out? Anybody? I, I, I have to confess that I, I didn't do it. I didn't do my homework. All right. But I do have a question for Emily. Emily, are you related to Emily Dickerson, the, the author? No, I'm not, but I do get that quite often. Yeah, I'm, I'm just sure. curious because she probably did rolled over in her grave when you said y'all. Probably. <laughs> hey, welcome to Alabama. <laughs> right. How about you, Kristen? Did you write yours out? No? Will you guys do that for yourself? No, it's not that hard. You can do it. Jen, how about you? Um, sorry, I'll start try to start my video real quick. So no, I didn't. We had our call and then I worked Tuesday and then we went to New Orleans for a wedding. And so okay. I haven't even like had a chance to sit down and do it. But I mean, I definitely want to. And this is helpful. I'm really I'm glad we reported it too, because I think it's just gonna be helpful to go back and listen not only to what other people are saying, um, but just to kind of try to put all of this stuff together. So um, I thought this was helpful. They've all been really helpful. But yeah. Awesome. I need to get it done. And Donna, did you write yours out? I messed with it just a little bit. And while I was house sitting at my daughter's house with 10 dogs and 60 chickens, and I left all my stuff there and I don't have it back yet. Okay. So you guys, no. make this easy. It should be able to be something that can just be boom, boom, boom. Erica, how about you? Did you write it out? Not yet? Did you? Um, no, I have... I have super sketchy, uh, ha I have worked on it. I've seen some parts, but I've missed um, too much to try to puzzle, okay. puzzle piece it. But I have, that's okay. Well, but the fun, here's the fun thing. This is the, like, do the work. This work is valuable. I think it's valuable. So even if you do it late, do it. But the fun thing is the pieces I have caught, like, so the times I've been able to watch the recording, I'm using it. I used it today when talking to a lady who was like, I'm just sick all the time. I'm like, you shouldn't have to be sick all the time. It shouldn't have Isn't to be the great. Time. I love it. <laughs> so, and it, you know what? It just made sense. She goes, so what are you, what, what are you taking? And I was like, well, I take it all. Why wouldn't I, you know, I I'm just not getting enough. So I, I need it personally. And so she just went on the website and ordered. So you don't have to actually even it's good to have the full script. I'm going to work on it um, now that I have some time, yep. but it doesn't mean you can't use what you don't have. You know what I mean? You can use the things you do have. So That's right. I am using the stuff I do have. And Jill, you can catch up. We've got all the last few weeks recorded. It'll be worth your time. To yeah, catch no, up. thank you all. That was amazing. And I've seen, I jumped back on Facebook and I saw some stuff last night and I was like blown away by what you all put on the team page. Pretty cool. Thanks. All right. So I have a question for you guys before we go. And I think Missy, you raised your hand. Did you have a question? Yeah, just real quickly, the steps that you have behind you, was that on our call last week? And I just didn't, and I missed that. Yes. Part? Okay. Uh -huh. I get it. And I'll repost these. I'll, I'll put these up in a little graphic on our Facebook okay. group. 
Okay. Right. When we get done so that you guys all have that, but it's the seven steps, right? You should have that in your story brand anyway. It's on your worksheet. The seven step process. I know, but is it, there... just, it doesn't oh. look like that in my head from- I know, that's why I had to simplify it for myself. What's that, Jen? I just wanted to know, is there like an easy way to find the videos? Because I feel like I'm just like scrolling, 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 scrolling through Facebook and I, to find it on our page, like um, search or you know no, what? Let me go. try to figure out how to get those put in our, in the guide for that. Okay, that'd be Let awesome. me see if I can move those over to the guide. Um, okay. Otherwise, no biggie. I can scroll. I just thought well, maybe I was. I thought maybe I was missing something. No. Yeah, you shouldn't have to okay. scroll. Okay. Ha! Ah, I like how you use that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. So next week is you guys can build for Dr. Patsy and um, their team. There, Emily and Sherry are doing a call on healthy eating. So that Mindful. would be something you want to share a little bit more about that, Patsy. No, it was mindful eating. Mindful eating, yes. So do you want to share a little bit about that, of what people can bring their customers and stuff to? Um, it, um, Emily, correct me. Um, it, it's basically what we, it's a discussion of the shred, obviously, and we'll be talking about the products. Um, but um, we approach it as mindfulness instead. Um, and so what things you need to be conscious of when we're doing the shred and when you're not doing the shred. So okay. that's, we added a little bit to the shred presentation. Perfect. Okay. Awesome. Okay. Um, and then the next week after that, I was going to ask you guys if, since you guys liked Donald Miller, there's a few other classes that we can do that I paid for this whole year of stuff. And he has one that kind of takes it, what we just did a little bit um, further into being the customer being the hero. And let me tell you what it's called. Hold on, it's loading. The customer is the hero. Learn the five talking points you need to make selling conversations easy and close more sales. So we could start that if you want. Um, there's also one called the hero on a mission. Well, no, we won't do that. Um, the other Reagan, one I'm sorry. If you do that on the 27th, just saying the following Monday is the fourth. So we won't have a call. So would it be one standalone that you want to do on the 27th then? No, it's a series again. Okay. So you'd skip the fourth and keep going. Then? Yeah. We just keep going. Yeah. Okay. There's another one called, um, communication made simple as well. Um, but I think with the one that we'd want to do is probably the customer is the hero. And, um, if you guys kind of liked his style of how to talk and things like that, and it's, you know, stop selling and start inviting people into a story. So I think it would be great for us to do that just to, because it, it really is probably before what we just learned. So we'll be in Ellen's camp where we're working backwards. Right. But he just, he just put it up. He just, this is brand, brand new. It wasn't there before. Would you guys like to do that? Yeah, that okay. sounds great. Sounds great. Yeah, okay, so we'll, we'll go that way. That'll make it easy. And we'll have probably, again, a couple good three or four weeks on that on that program. Okay. okay. Sure. Okay. Right. Awesome. Well, you guys have a beautiful um, week. Let me know if you need any three-way calls or any help. Reagan? Yes. Before you shut off the recording, could you just go through your seven steps again so I can see? I know you're going to yeah. post them elsewhere. So but the seven okay. steps, if you guys want to write them down while I'm talking. External is the problem, right? Mm -hmm. Two is internal. In other words, about them, like they shouldn't have to blah, blah, blah. Three is philosophical. Mm -hmm. Four is the villain. Mm -hmm. Five is negative consequences. Six is the positives of taking action and six is, or seven is taking action. Take action. And solution, is there somewhere a solution? Well, that's take action. take action, call to action. Oh, is that the same? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, thank you. Yeah. Okay. All right, you guys have a good one and I will chat with you soon. Thank you very much.